And now, breaking news. So election season is coming up, and by coming up I mean it's a still uh, a million years away. But that doesn't stop people from getting hot and crazy in their political followings, discussions, ramblings, and madness. One thing I love to hear is the whole, both sides are the same. Well, they're not. That's not true. There is one side that is more alike your values. And all the candidates seem to stay pretty much on their side. Uh, I've also heard people say, well, I really want Bernie, but if Bernie doesn't get it, I'm not going to vote for Hillary. Well, Hillary and Bernie are awfully similar on their policies. I live far enough west that it's very likely I won't get a say in who, uh, is, uh, who wins the primary. But that doesn't mean I'm going to throw my vote away. So there's a website called isidewith.com. I side with, and you, you can take a quiz. And the quiz, uh, you know, it's got a million questions, but it breaks it down into social issues, into military issues, into budget issues. So let's take a look at it. You go into the quiz, and the thing is, uh, the more questions you answer and the more thoroughly and deeply you answer them, the better match you're going to find. So, for example, the first question, what is your stance on abortion? Pro-choice, pro-life, other stance. So if you look at the bottom choice, other stances, if you click on that, you get more choices. Pro-life, but in, allow it in case of rape. Pro-choice, I don't agree with it, but it's not my right. You know, and then after that, you can select how important it is to you. Because some issues you'll say, well, I'm, I'm definitely, you know, I, I feel this way but I really don't care that much. It's less important. Or I feel very strongly about it, and it's most important. So uh, then when you get to the bottom of each section, you know, social issues, environmental issues, that was my phone, not yours, social issues, environmental issues, there's a choice to show more questions. So you do that, and you get a whole bunch more, maybe five, maybe three, maybe more. And then when you're done, and again, you, you choose the stance that best matches you. You expand the questions. You weight the questions. When you're done, it's going to give you your match. Now, in my case, I'm at a 96% match with Bernie and an 87% match with Hillary. That means I would really like to vote for Bernie. But Hillary is awfully close. Joe Biden at 80%, though he hasn't declared and it's getting kind of late. Then Martin O'Malley. So, I mean, really, the Dems are all up there. And the closest Republican is Rand Paul at 43%, meaning Rand Paul and I only agree 43% of the time. That's not very good. And as you go down the list, Marco Rubio, 9%. Car Carly Fiorina, 12%. These are people with whom I have very strong fundamental differences. And if I say to you, I am not going to vote for Sanders. Uh, I'm not going to vote. If Sanders doesn't get the nomination, I'm not going to vote for Hillary. That's a tacit vote for one of these clowns, Lindsey Graham. I agree with him 16% of the time. And frankly, that seems kind of high. I wonder if he's telling the truth about those 16%. After that, you can, it, it says parties you side with. Apparently I'm 92% green, 90% Democrat, 83% socialist. I'm not ashamed. It doesn't mean what the conservative right has indoctrinated us to think it means. 52% libertarian, and the party I side with 6% of the time is the Republicans. So, I was a registered Republican growing up. My mom raised me Republican. But my mom raised me a lot of ways that I have since learned are not for me, to put it politely. Uh, so here we go. Uh, you can go issue by issue and see what people are actually voting on the site. And they and you can break it down by your state, your city, your party, ethnicity, income. Do you support legalization of same-sex sex marriage? 67 to yes to 33 no. Should every person purchasing a gun be required to pass a criminal and public safety background check? 92% are saying yes. And by the way, the polling... Uh, 
not from people just happening to use the site, but from actual people, is 91%. So this is pretty accurate. It's time for universal background checks, guys. Should immigrants be required to learn English? Do you support the Trans-Pacific Partnership? And so on. So it's a really great site. It's a really great resource. And I would love to hear from you in the comments or otherwise as to who your matches are. And again, you can comment anywhere. And when you're done, you can also get a link that you can share with people so they can see where you're at. It'd be interesting. Isidewith.com. Check it out.